Welcome to Geography with Gina. Today we are going to look at map work focusing on coordinates. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. In this video, you are going to learn how to determine the coordinates of a feature on the map in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So what is coordinates? Why do we use coordinates? Well, coordinate system is a way in which geographers find the exact location of a place or a feature on the Earth's surface. This means that coordinates is where lines of latitude and lines of longitude meet to give us a specific location of the physical or man-made feature in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now we are looking at the map of Lady Smith to determine the coordinates for a certain feature. Please take note, in South Africa, when you are given a map as a learner, please take note that it, your latitude will always be south and your longitude will always be east. Now why is that so? Let's locate our equator. Your equator is your zero degree imaginary line of latitude dividing the earth north and south of the equator. Now let's look at South Africa. There is South Africa. So is South Africa north of the equator or south of the equator? Yes, you are right. South Africa is south of the equator hence why when you have a map of south africa your latitude will always be south now let's look at the world map again can you identify the prime meridian or some of you know it as the greenwich meridian yes it is a zero degree imaginary line of longitude that divides the earth into west and east. Now let's identify South Africa. There is South Africa. So is South Africa west or east of the prime meridian? Yes, it's on the eastern side of the prime meridian. Hence why when you receive a map of a place in South Africa, your longitude will always be east. Now here is a map of Lady Smith. Let's say you are asked to find the coordinates for spot height 1187 in block A1. Now let's start with the degree in latitude. What is the degree? Okay, so based on this map, the degree, it's 28 for latitude. Meaning that everything that is in this map, it's on the latitude of 28 degrees. 28 degrees. Okay, so let's find out the minutes. Okay, so we have 28 degrees. That line is 30 minutes. 31, 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we are looking for the minutes in latitude for spot height 1187. And as you can see, and as you can see, the spot height is within the 30 minute block. Now let us find the latitude seconds of spot height 1187 in block A1. The first thing you are going to do is that you're going to place your ruler from the line until the dot of the spot height 1187. Now when you measure from the line until the dot of the spot height in millimeters, you'll notice that it is 16 millimeters. So write it down. 
Now measure the whole block. Measure from the 30, 30 minute line of latitude to the 31 minute line of latitude with your ruler in millimeters. So when you have measured, you'll see that it gives you 36 millimeters. So you're going to say 16 divided by 36. Then you're going to multiply by 60 seconds, meaning that 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. This whole block in seconds, it will be 60 seconds. Hence why we, we, t we multiply by 60. So it will give you an answer. Yes, you get a round off, so it's 27 seconds. So your latitude coordinates for spot height 1187 in block A1, it's going to be 28 degrees, 30 minutes, and 27 seconds. The direction is south. So the degree of longitude of spot height 1187, it's 29 degrees. So any feature that you are asked to give the coordinates of this map is 29 degrees. Now let's find the minutes. You'll see 45 minutes, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. But we are looking for the minutes of spot height 1187 in block A1. So you can see it falls under 45 minutes. Now we are finding the seconds. You are going to place your ruler from the line of 45 until the spot height dot. So when you measure until the dot of the spot height, you get 7 millimeters. Now measure the longitude line of 45 minutes to the longitude line of 46 minutes in, with your ruler in millimeters. When you have measured from those two lines of longitude, you get 37 millimeters. So you're going to say 7 divided by 37. Then you're going to multiply by 60 seconds because 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. This whole block makes 60 seconds. So when you've done the calculations, it will give you 12 seconds. So the coordinates for spot height 1187 in block A1, 28 degrees, 30 minutes and 27 seconds south, 29 degrees, 45 minutes and 12 seconds east.